I uh, grew up uh, in a family uh, strongly committed to serving other people. My dad was a, a minister, my mom was a teacher, and I had four siblings, uh, including one adopted sister from the Philippines. And we grew up uh, intentionally in inner cities to do a lot of, of work. And, um, and I value that history. Um, and then dad decided to move to Denver. And so I grew up in Denver since I was about 12. My parents, I think, really instilled in me this strong desire to improve the lives of others. And um, th that is partly why I went into medicine, but also um, partly why I started to do other things while I was a, an OBGYN physician. I started to uh, teach classes to girls and then to boys also with my husband, a child psychologist helping them with um, issues of you know, development and uh, mental health and social health for many years. And uh, we came here to Greeley because uh, Brian became a professor here at the University of Northern Colorado and is a graduate level professor of counseling psychology and has trained many of our school counselors. And, and it seemed to be a natural fit for my interest in helping youth um, and my strong interest in parenting and parenting research with his professional interests. I was at the Women's Clinic of Greeley for, I don't know, 20 years. Um, and um, slowly over months, I uh, discovered I had a serious medical problem. And um, like many physicians, uh, we get the weird yamas. So I have a one in a million disease called primary lateral sclerosis. So I had to stop practicing about eight years ago now. Well, uh, I view this illness and this uh, loss of my career to be a gift now because it has enabled me to pursue the, my passion projects. The thing is, our youth are in crisis and so are our school systems. Youth Empowerment Group is, uh, is a 501c3 in, in Colorado since 2018. We feel like we're on a good track to hopefully make an impact with our um, mental and social health life skill programs that we've developed. The first one was for girls, because I'm an OGYN, and Power Girls for Life. And, um, and then during the pandemic, we were able to develop the co-ed power-up curriculum and provide them free throughout Weld County courtesy of the Well Trust. And they are online, easy, little prep, little supply curricula that uh, anyone in Weld County can use. They're all online, they are video based, so they have like a 30 to 45 minute video uh, that leads both instructors or leaders and kids through the lesson. And it is practical information, along with handouts and instructor guides and printed supplies. So we feel that we've developed a very innovative approach uh, because we feel like that is what it's going to take to mitigate this crisis in their mental health. Um, and in that way, we empower their families, we help their communities, we help the workforce, and, and we support our power as a nation. I feel so fortunate to be able to form this nonprofit, the Youth Empowerment Group uh, of Volunteers, and to develop these curricula. And not only do we hope to impact many people's lives, but I want you to know it feeds my soul, my passion to make a difference in the world.